Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here, my name's Lainey. The way that comes out of my mouth, like word vomit now, is kind of disgusting. Today I wanted to talk about how to create your own aesthetic. I kind of just like don't really know what to, how to title this video or really how to categorize it, but I've just got some like tips and tricks. If maybe you feel stagnant with your wardrobe or your outfits, or you always feel like you're hopping like from aesthetic to aesthetic, because I know it's so weird that like these little micro aesthetics come out like every week. So I just kind of want to talk about like finding your own style. Okay, no, it's okay. Coming to you live from my very messy house, but I wanted to say thank you so much to Ipsos, I say, for sponsoring this video. One of my New Year's resolutions is to just not spend so much money on Starbucks this year. So now I've just been using my Ipsos, I say, money to uh, cover whenever I want to treat myself to that. The website makes it there's Brandon. The website makes it super easy. You just take a part in research, answer some questions, and earn rewards. I remember in college always hearing about like surveys and doing surveys, taking part in studies to earn quick cash, and I could just never find like a reputable site, and this is definitely the place to do it and where you actually earn money. So you can earn a bunch of different type of gift cards. Starbucks is my favorite, obviously. Also, the surveys are just kind of fun. They feel like old school, like BuzzFeed quizzes. And when I'm just like sitting on the couch stuck breastfeeding Lucy or, you know, having her nap on me, I'll just run through these quizzes on my phone and earn money that way. Um, I could totally again see myself like in college when I was taking the bus to school, sitting on the bus and doing these little surveys. And it's just like a good time kill. So you guys can click the link in the description to start earning rewards with Ipsos. I say today, thank you again for sponsoring this video. Let's get into the rest of it. Now let's get into the video. A few of these I've talked about a few times before, but I still, there's like new people here. Maybe you didn't see the other videos. Honestly, I don't remember the other videos that I talked about it in. So let's just do a refresher. When trying to find your own aesthetic or personal style, I think the best way of doing it is with vintage pieces. I talk about this all the time. You can still like be trendy and follow trends with vintage pieces, but the way vintage pieces are gonna stay in your closet and stand the test of time so much more than the, even dare I say like, you know, really cool small brands, like something like Paloma Wool, like everybody getting that one Paloma Wool shirt or something, it's gonna feel more trendy and dated than something that is inspired by that, but it's vintage and nobody else has it. You'll just end up liking it a lot longer or that's how it works for me but I'm not saying like don't buy from those places, but something like, you know, a Princess Polly uh, shirt that everybody has, that is definitely something that's not gonna stand the test of time because it's so, okay, can I like shut up and restart? If you think of an item that's like super trendy right now, that's from a fast fashion brand, it's gonna hit all the marks of what's trending in this date. And in that sense, like buying that and wearing that, you can feel very dated already because you're wearing something so current or you can already feel like you're wearing something that everybody else has and you get sick of it yada 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 you guys know the drill but if you're wearing something that's from a different time period that already fits in that trend because trends are secular sick sick trends are they've all happened before you can find any trend now you can find it like secondhand vintage on ebay in the thrift store whatever that wearing one that maybe has like a few elements that are technically dated or not super trendy it'll make the piece last longer does that make sense i hope that makes sense i'm trying to think of like an actual example and i know you guys will in the comments below not working okay next thing also with this is having family heirlooms and this doesn't necessarily need to be like my mom's gucci purse because we all know that my lisa over there the white noise machine is on so i don't know if she can hear me if she doesn't have designer stuff like that she had this fur trim suede jacket that i started wearing in like 2018 before like the fur trim was a thing and i just already love this jacket and it's something that's going to stay in my wardrobe forever now because it was my mom's it's special to me i'll wear it you know whether it's in or out of style and to me that's like my style now because it was my mom's um this could be like your neighbor's clothes or your your dad's clothes even i have a lot of 
of my dad's pieces too that are like trendy right now or were trendy that I will just like continue to wear. Um, my dad's like sunglasses. I have so many of his sunglasses that in style anymore, but I will still wear because they're so freaking cool to me. If you guys follow me, you know the Matsuda sunglasses that are my dad's. Um, my grandma's fur coat that I recently just like took out of her closet, even when fur isn't as trendy anymore, I'm gonna keep wearing it. Or like your boyfriend's clothes. But clothes that have like that extra meaning, they will somehow just like turn into your style and embody your style. And it's pieces from different eras and aesthetics and whatnot and curating to be you. Because I always get so many questions where it's like, Lainey, what would you describe your aesthetic? And I think you guys are asking so you like can know what to search on an eBay or Poshmark or Depop kind of thing. I don't have one, it's me. And you actually can search Lainey, Lainey Ozark, I think on Depop and people like list clothes that like either I've worn or similar. So that's a really freaking cool and blows my mind. Okay, next thing is making your closet and outfits a little cocktail of aesthetics. So if you're really stuck in this idea of like, I know I like cottagecore and I know I like grunge and I those are fun together. And <laughs> I know I like ballet core and I know I like, I don't know what the other aesthetics are, but you get what I'm saying, Y2K, whatever. Mixing and matching those pieces together so I'm not gonna pick one day and dress complete ballet core I mean I could but that just feels really impractical to me unless I'm going to ballet but that seems like something I would look at later which I want to talk about in another video why are we so scared of being trendy and not liking our outfits in a few years I love looking back and hating my outfit and when people tell me like you're gonna look at this outfit and hate it that's so fun I love era like dressing in the sense of if I know it's me. If I'm wearing something that feels like so not me and I'm looking at it in a few years, like I was just trying to fit, you know, a mold, then it kind of hurts me. But if I know that I was really feeling myself that day, who cares if I look at it in a few years and think I look like a ding dong? Like that's so much fun. And like for Lucy to look at old pictures and she's gonna be like, what was wrong with you, mom? Why were you wearing that headband? You look stupid. I'm gonna say that's so funny. Okay, sorry. But mixing and matching those aesthetics together just feel a lot more like you're not a walking Pinterest board, things I've said before. So I don't wanna get too far into it. This is where we get into it. Stop defining yourself. You don't need to think like my aesthetic is cottage core and ballet core and what's the one like mall goth pilates princess those are fine it's just the names weird me out you don't need to like define yourself in any whatever especially when people like even ask me to like no i'm not gonna do that because that would probably cause me to spiral these words are amazing for like keyword search terms if you go on ebay and you type in cottage core you're gonna find a lot of pieces that you know fit whatever you're tr you're looking for you know the frill like something like this like frilly and lace and whatever um like the peasant style and uh, something i really like about that is the the aesthetics and keywords uh on those like sites tend to be pieces that are kind of hyped up or hiked up uh because those are the people that like know they got something good but you can like look at the brand then <laughs> and then just search the brand and then the people who didn't like categorize that into an aesthetic like as a cottage core top and just are selling it with the tag or just selling it with like saying the type of silhouette or the fabric material that normal people like us just don't know off the top of our hat <laughs> top of our hands top of our heads why is it on top you can find the pieces that you're looking for at a lot cheaper of a price so i highly suggest like searching on depop and especially ebay these key terms aesthetics even like y2k stuff like that and then after you find like the y2k piece that's been hiked up to like 99 dollars look at what brand it is look at the silhouette look at the material what they're the key terms that they're using to list it and then like dissect it and use those as your key terms so i really do like the aesthetics as ways to search for inspo and clothes but not to define yourself i saw this tiktok work and i think that my outfit is slaying boots um i'm quickly fucking humbled one of the reasons I love living in New York is because people really value those that dress for the sake of themselves and not dress for the sake of being desired by others. Like, people in New York can always tell when you're dressing for the sake of being desired by other people and not for yourself. And it's not necessarily always about what you're wearing more than it is about how you're wearing it. And... That's just one of the things I love about this city. Like, you're really not just gonna fly by trying to look like everyone else. You have to look like yourself, which means you have to figure out who you actually are or who you wanna be before you step outside and get a compliment on your outfit from a New Yorker. 
it really resonated with me. Just the idea of dressing for yourself and not to be desired by anyone else. And I think that this just goes into the whole idea of like dressing for the female gaze versus the male gaze, that kind of stuff. Um, if you're putting on clothes that make you feel good, you're gonna like radiate and glow in a way that like, you know, putting on something that makes you feel uncomfortable could never do. Even if it's something that like other people are gonna like more. If you're wearing clothes you like more that they might not like as much, they'll like you more, I swear. Um, I recently just got a pair of shoes that you'll see in an upcoming haul that Brandon is disgusted by. I couldn't care less that he hates them because I'm gonna wear the crap out of them and I feel good in them and I know I'm gonna be myself in them and all those kind of things and I'm not wearing for anyone else besides myself. And that is healing. But it's so true that like this idea of dressing for yourself and not anyone else creates the coolest and most unique outfits. Even if dressing for yourself does involve like more basic outfits, you know, a white t-shirt and jeans because that is true to me also. Um, you're just gonna be your best self in outfits for you. And I stand by that. The next thing is that just to keep in mind that not everyone's gonna like your style. Exhibit A, my own boyfriend not liking my shoes. But I swear if everyone does like your style or if you're not offending someone in, with your style, and you guys know what I mean by offending. Like if someone doesn't like, think it's ugly in that sense, not like actually offending, your outfit's probably bleh. <laughs> but the way like even boring outfits can offend people now because they're like that's so basic like at least you're doing it right you're doing basic right offend those fashion youtubers you're doing something right if i don't like your outfit you're doing something right if you don't like my outfit i'm doing something right i don't really have anything else to say by that i like write these like you know bullet points but sometimes just the sentence alone is enough and then i over explain and i just stop talking i hope this video made sense like, I, sometimes i just like to put these videos out there because i love like the discussion and the things we talk about in the comments below let me know if you you guys enjoyed this video if it made any sense if you got any tips and tricks from it and if you have any tips and tricks you wanted to share about just like creating your own personal style and aesthetic whatnot i can link in the description some other videos where i talk about this kind of stuff like if you're bored of clothes in your closet and those kind of things because i know you guys like these type of videos but i really feel like sometimes i've wrung them dry and i have nothing else to say it'll be a crazy time when i have nothing else to say because Apparently on YouTube, I can't shut up. But in real life, I really don't talk that much. Okay, that's it. Uh, remember, check out IPSOS. Thank you again for sponsoring this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you in a few days. Bye.